Okay, squat to hop. This moves on from that half squat to jump. Yeah, you can progress that one further, just increase, increase your squat depth and your jump height. Yeah, so that's, that's another way of increasing that. I kind of like to sort of bypass that and go straight to this. Okay, because I think it's more, I um, don't know what the word is, but it's more beneficial for injury prevention. Yeah, so what we would do as before, we go down into our squat and then, but when we come out now, we're gonna come out and then go into a hop, yeah? Okay, let's see what that looks like. Double hop is bad, yeah? We want a single foot landing. Okay, so, good. So work on your squat depth, yeah? So go as deep as you can. As soon as you go down, far out as hard as you can and onto your foot. To begin with though, keep the distance, right? The distance of the hop relatively short to get the stability. And then as you're feeling comfortable with it, don't kick your carpet away, but increase the hop length, yeah? Increase the hop length, increase the force going into the foot and the load that the foot, knee, hip has to decelerate and then hold, okay? Um, so that's how you build that up, yeah. Deeper squat for a longer jump. But start off with fairly shallow to a fairly short distance just to get used to the mechanic of the exercise.